Hey, welcome to this very exciting new tutorial because last day the Blender developers dropped a very cool new build which adds the first steps of simulation nodes inside of geometry nodes. And this is a very broken thing and we will in this first tutorial just cover the very tip of the iceberg because it's still very new, very broken and <laughs> your Blender can a lot crash. Where can you find the new simulation nodes of Blender 3.5? You can either go into the Blender launcher under experimental and downloads. Here are the geometry node simulation. Here is the build or the branch. However, I couldn't download that. It had crashed a bunch of times. So I went to the Blender website blender.org and here you can go at the top to downloads and you can scroll down onto experimental and here you can go to the branches and here the geometry nodes simulation. If you watch this tutorial later on maybe this build is under all achieved archived builds or it's even merged into 3.5 experimental. So in the future, this will of course change or it will be even be merged into geometry nodes native. So without further ado, let's see how those simulation nodes work inside of geometry nodes. For this, I go into my download build here and I'll open the blender version. In here, everything is usual as usual and we can delete everything we don't need it and for now we want to add an icosphere and we want to drag this window up because we want to use here the geometry nodes editor we drag another window up for the timeline because the timeline is now you need the timeline now for the simulation i can close this window here i don't need it and we want to create a new geometry nodes tree and I will stretch our node tree a little bit. And for adding new nodes, you can press Shift A or you can go here onto the Add menu. And at the first glance, we can see here the simulation submenu. This is something new and very powerful. In here, we have the simulation input. You can drag that onto your timeline and we have the simulation output. And you can see a little frame appears and this is just saying what simulation nodes are together and what they affect in between. But how do they now work? So as said, those are very, very new and a lot can change since this tutorial. As I understood it, geometry nodes goes through our node tree and we've changed something here in between. But then on the next frame, it saves this, what it has done to your geometry and it does it again, over and over again. So for example, we can use a simple transform node and we can, we can plug it in here between and if we hit play, nothing happens. And this is because we have changed nothing. So if we change the y-axis to one, what can we see? Our icosphere rotates a little bit. And this is because on the first frame, geometry nodes looks at our node tree that is, that is in between the simulation nodes because only those two get looped because only those things that are in between those two simulation nodes get looped. That's because we have this frame here that tells us what is affected by the simulation nodes. And then it sees this transform node and it applies one degree in the Y direction in rotation. Then it saves this information in our output node. And then on frame two, it has saved the one degree and it goes over again and it adds again one degree. So we are now at two degree rotation. And this goes on and on. And this is basically the simulation or the loop nodes in geometry nodes. And we can do a bunch of effects with them. And um, I would recommend not using heavy nodes. So 
if you are using for instance i'm just i'm just telling you that i won't try because blender will with 100 percent crash if you will use the subdivide mesh node never use it between the simulation because in practical what does it do at the first frame it will subdivide your mesh one time but if we go to the second frame the one time will be saved and over that it will subdivide again so two times subdivision and i don't even know if you reach even the 10th frame a high level pc then but never use those kind of nodes another example never use the where is it never use the extrude node the same example you have so for example you have your mesh here and you extrude it on frame one so you have it in between our simulation nodes here like this let's say you have it in between here at frame one you extrude it then those information get cached but then you go on to frame two and the first extrusion was rem remembered by geometry nodes but now it sees again an extrusion and it extrudes another time and on the third time those two will get remembered and it extrude a third time and so on and so on i don't know if you can get on to the 10th time of that that is not good your computer will crash so don't use heavy notes with that if you understand what this system is for it's just for looping your data or your manu manipulation that you do in here what can we do with it for instance we can create a little a little cool effect that's i didn't plan this video i had another video for today but those are really breaking news so i had to make this video so I'm not really familiar with the system as said it's not even a day old so expect heavy crashes I had heavy crashes myself while trying this system out before one thing first add the simulation and then your notes if you add notes before here that manipulate your geometry and then want to plug the simulation input at last blender will crash how um, so first create the simulation and then manipulate your mesh before so we want to add points on our mesh so we want to distribute points on our faces and you can see nothing changes and i don't know if this is a bug but sometimes it's very weird those things of course get resolved over time as said this thing is not even a day old if something is very weird it's definitely a bug it's so freaking new I don't even know if tomorrow it looks like that. <laughs> Let's hope this tutorial lasts a little bit longer. <laughs> so now we've distributed points on our faces. So let's create a little bit more points and let's try to reset here. So a little bit scrapping over the timeline so our cache gets resetted. So we have now this points and now we want to loop something. What do we want to loop? So we want to change the position of our objects so in the geometry submenu the set position node with that node you can always change the position of something faces points whatsoever curves and now we want to use the noise texture as our displacement and we want to use the position for the offset and a color mix sorry it's now a mix node it got renamed and here we have the color included color mix node and we want to set it to linear light and now we can plug the color into the color and now if we hit play it's crazy so let's crank our value a little bit down and it's still crazy what's wrong here you have to plug it into the position right yes sorry that was a stupid mistake we have to use of course a new position and we don't want to add this to the position but because then every frame it gets added to the position so it's just exploding we don't want that we want to update our position every time and now you can see 
we can create really nice pattern and this is of course better seeable with more points so let's update it by scrubbing through our timeline like this take our scale down so now you can see with that you can create really cool effects really geometry nodes pros are currently completely breaking the industry with things they do while looping a couple of days or weeks ago um, a hack got discovered where you can loop things and now this is a uh, this is another way of looping in geometry nodes. People already with the hack got so much cool things out of it. So I can't imagine what this will look like. And we can create things like this. You can of course also use the Voronoi. You can create cool things with that, of course. And this is all simulated from inside of geometry nodes. Isn't that cool? So I guess this is everything I can say about it. As said, a very big update from Blender and the Geometry Nodes system. It's extreme what people do with that. It's very broken right now. So I'm not doing much here <laughs> because I don't want to have Blender crashed. But I hope you understood the system a little bit. So with that words, thank you all for watching if you want to support me i have a gumroad shop with also a material pack that you can download then and use on the asset browser all kinds of materials there's also a free version of gumroad you can download that if you want to and try it out for free of course and yes the advanced version of course had has a lot of more cool bigger materials but yes Thank you all for watching and see you, see you later hopefully. Thank you. Bye.